Russia is currently experiencing one of the most extensive periods of Arctic fleet modernization in its contemporary history. The nation is concurrently increasing the mass production of its versatile nuclear icebreakers and advancing a new class of highly powerful vessels engineered to operate in the most challenging ice conditions. Together, these vessels constitute the foundation of Russia's strategy to facilitate year-round navigation along the Northern Sea Road, support expanding industrial initiatives in the Arctic, and enhance its polar infrastructure. Below is a comprehensive overview of the current construction progress based on information from recent industry, government, and shipbuilding publications in the Russian language. Project 2220, commonly designated by the name of its lead vessel Arctica, constitutes the cornerstone of Russia's ongoing Arctic shipbuilding initiative. These universal nuclear icebreakers, designated LK-60 Yia, are engineered to function effectively in both deep Arctic waters and river estuaries, capabilities that earlier Soviet-era icebreakers could not achieve without limitations. The series began construction at the Baltic Shipyard in St. Petersburg. Over the past few years, multiple ships, including Arctica, Sibir, Ural, and Yakutia, have been built, delivered, and commissioned. Recent vessels within the series are progressing through different phases of construction and are undergoing harbor or sea trials. Their function is clear, to guide large tonnage vessels and cargo ships through ice nearly three meters thick, ensuring the northern sea route remains navigable during winter. This class constitutes the operational core, offering sufficient power to navigate through dense pack ice while maintaining an adaptable draft that enables operations near port facilities and within shallower estuaries. Their completion has permitted Russia to sustain stable Arctic operations in spite of increasingly ambitious shipping initiatives. The Project 2220 initiative is structured around a mass production framework. Instead of designing unique custom vessels, the shipyard employs standardized designs featuring regular processes and prefabricated modules. This enables construction time to accelerate with each subsequent haul. The Baltic shipyard continues to serve as the primary manufacturing facility for these vessels. Recent updates verify continued work on several additional vessels, including those named Chukotka, Leningrad, and Stalingrad. Several are in the metal cutting or initial hull assembly phases, while others are being outfitted and a few are approaching sea trials. Despite serial production, challenges persist, including supply chain disruptions, delayed component deliveries, and workforce limitations. Nevertheless, the overall pace of work has improved and the shipyard has become increasingly efficient with each hull. While the Triple 220 vessels constitute the central fleet, the Project 10510 icebreakers, collectively called the leader category, represent a major leap in capability. The leader was created as the world's most formidable nuclear icebreaker, designed for continuous, year-round escort of enormous tonnage vessels through the most challenging ice conditions of the Eastern Arctic. The leader-class vessels surpass the Triple 220 series in both size and capability. They are expected to penetrate ice exceeding 4 meters thick without requiring multiple passes. This capability is essential for predictable winter navigation along the eastern northern sea route the most difficult section of the route. The main vessel, named Rossiya, is under construction at the Zvezda shipbuilding facility in Russia's Far East. Zvezda has dedicated years to expanding its industrial infrastructure to accommodate such large hulls and heavy nuclear components. The construction process has already achieved significant structural milestones, and hull sections continue to be assembled and integrated. Work on internal systems, including propulsion and electronics, is also ongoing. Once completed, Rossiya will set a new global standard for ice-breaking power, enabling continuous passage of the largest liquefied natural gas carriers and oil tankers through regions that were previously accessible only seasonally. The core of Russia's icebreaker fleet 
relies on a new generation of compact marine reactors. The 22220 series uses the RITM 200 reactor, which has demonstrated reliability in operation. For the larger leader class vessels, Russia is developing a more powerful reactor, the RITM 400. The RITM 400 has substantially greater complexity. It requires increased heat output, advanced safety systems, and a design suited for extended missions far from repair facilities. According to industry reports, the first main components of the RITM 400 reactors have been produced, tested, and are now undergoing phased integration. The rate of reactor production directly influences shipyard timelines. The main sections of the leader icebreaker cannot be finalized until the reactors complete production testing and are ready for installation. Russia has shown consistent progress in this area, and coordination between reactor manufacturers and the Zvezda shipyard has improved over the past two years. Nuclear icebreakers require substantial, multi-year financial commitments from the Russian government. Each 22220 icebreaker requires investments amounting to tens of billions of rubles, while a leader-class vessel requires even more. State contracts typically specify delivery periods of between five and eight years, including penalty clauses for delays. The leader-class contract, signed in the early 2020s, set a target completion date for the latter half of the decade. Official statements confirm that the vessel is expected to be completed by the end of 2027, though timelines depend heavily on nuclear system integration, which is highly regulated and labor-intensive. Russia continues to sign contracts for additional triple 220 icebreakers to maintain ongoing production at the Baltic shipyard. Sustaining this production rate is considered vital for preserving the workforce, supporting suppliers, and ensuring operational readiness along the northern sea route. Despite ambitious goals, the nuclear icebreaker program faces multiple challenges. Supply chain limitations affect nuclear components, heavy machinery, and specialized steel plates. The technical complexity of integrating reactor systems also requires highly skilled personnel and strict regulatory oversight. Some earlier vessels experienced delays and penalties due to postponed turbine deliveries, shortages of specialized welders, and limits in crane capacity. The government has increased funding to mitigate these issues. Geopolitical factors add further complications. The Arctic fleet previously relied on certain foreign components, and the shift to domestic alternatives has slowed specific engineering processes. The rapid development of the nuclear icebreaker fleet is driven by both economic and geopolitical priorities. The Northern Sea Route is central to Russia's national development strategy, intended to serve as a major transit corridor between Europe and Asia, and to support exports of Arctic minerals, liquefied natural gas, and energy. A robust nuclear fleet reduces disruptions caused by seasonal ice and severe weather. It also strengthens Russia's ability to maintain a year-round presence in remote Arctic regions, enhance navigational safety, respond to emergencies, and support scientific and military operations. The leader-class vessels, in particular, are intended to enable year-round navigation in the eastern Siberian sectors of the Northern Sea Route, historically blocked by some of the world's harshest ice. If successful, this will significantly increase commercial traffic and reinforce Russia's influence in global Arctic logistics. Currently, the program is in a highly active phase. Multiple triple 220 icebreakers are already in service, escorting vessels along the northern sea route. Additional triple 220 vessels are under construction, with hulls in various stages of assembly, outfitting, and testing. The first leader-class icebreaker is visibly progressing at the Zvezda shipyard with major hull sections assembled. Production of RITM, 400 reactor units, has achieved significant milestones and continues steadily. More contracts for new vessels are expected as Russia pursues its long-term goal of maintaining a fleet of at least 12 advanced nuclear icebreakers. 
the overall program is advancing consistently, though not without occasional delays. In the coming years, observers should monitor the completion and sea trials of the next triple 220 vessels, the integration of RITM-400 reactors into the leader superstructure at Zvezda, and government announcements concerning additional leader-class ships. If Russia maintains its current pace, the early 2030s will begin with the world's most powerful and diverse fleet of nuclear icebreakers, capable of supporting commercial and strategic operations across the entire northern sea route. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us.